Now in order to take perfect panoramas, we can't take it handheld, a panoramic tripod head. So I made this for about 10 bucks. Here's why we need that tripod head. This tree right here in the background is aligned with this pole right here. But look what happens when I shift the camera. You see how now there's significant space between this pole and the tree? We need to eliminate that space. It's instead of rotating our camera around this point, we need to rotate the camera um, around the aperture blades that are inside the lens. This is called the no parallax point. Place my lens on a tripod handle just like this. Look in the live view mode, test to see where the pole is in correlation to the tree. Significantly improved. Always take 360 panoramas with the widest angle lens that you have. We need to rotate it so the camera is being rotated around the lens, which is right here. Make a very simple one for about 10 bucks. I've basically made an L shape here. There's a tripod mount right here. Screw it on my tripod. Another tripod mount right here. And then just simply screw on my camera. My camera is being rotated around the no parallax point that we just discussed. Screw it on there, and then I can go up and down, spin, the tilt and shift head to go left and right. There's instructions on how to make this panoramic tripod head inside of the ebook. So now that we have this all set up, let's take a panorama inside my house. It's always a good idea to place a bubble leveler on the tripod head. Use manual mode, manual focusing as well. And now, at this point, I'm going to be taking one picture straight up, that's the zenith shot, and then another, I'm going to attempt to take the natter shot, and that's the one that goes straight directly down. And you can see that those always never come out perfect, but it's always worth trying. So I'm just going to drag and drop those and do hugin, and click align, and it's going to take a few minutes to do its thing. And now, even though I took it on the tripod, there's still some unconnected groups. So for every image that I see that has no control points, for example, this one right here, I'm just going to go in and add them. And let's do one more right there, one more right there, and click add. On the Natter image, I'm just going to add a control point on this, the bottom of this leg. So now I'm going to click Align. Alright, here is the Fast Panorama Preview window. It's looking great. And go into the Optimizer tab and just, let's save it before we optimize it, just in case it kind of messes it up. Save. Now let's optimize everything. Uh, yes, I want to apply the changes and go into the stitcher and calculate optimal size, uh, make it a JPEG, and that is looking pretty good. Let's click stitch now and save it. And yeah, it's looking very smooth. Let's right click it and open with Photoshop. So let's go to filter, flaming pair, and flexify 2. All right, this is looking pretty awesome. Let's change the field of view. So I think that's looking pretty cool. Let's just leave it right here and click OK. All right, just it just finished. And if we zoom in, we can see all of its glory. <laughs> I love these things. They're just so creative. And of course, um, the edges are a little bit distorted. So again, you can... Next time you do this, you can do medium JPEGs or large JPEGs. So yeah, that's it.